I'm at Trader Joe's now getting some goodies. Now these are all the rage and we all know why, but I love the trend of leather pants. Five minutes street reading, five minutes journaling, five minutes praying, if you can. 10 out of 10, so good. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Starting this vlog off without a little morning routine type of montage. Um, but I just want to say hello. I'm heading off to a workout and I'm going to be vlogging today. And in today's vlog, I'm going to be showing you guys just kind of obviously my life, but also some of my fall staples. I'm going to be showing you guys that at some point in this video today. Um, it is about 9, 9 a.m. and I'm heading off to go work out. I slept in a little bit today, let myself sleep in because um, my sleep schedule has still been like so screwed up even since kind of like the Maldives which is kind of crazy like I just can't seem to get back on the right time schedule so working on that but I just woke up late today and I just kept hitting snooze and I was like ah uh. so I'm gonna go work out today and go to a coffee shop and have a meeting and then doing the little haul for you guys and then I'm going on a walk with a friend and then tonight just chilling with another friend so lots to do today let's do it and hope you guys enjoyed today's video my name is Janine if you're new here and I hope you guys will hang out with me subscribe I do a lot of fashion faith lifestyle videos so let's do it Okay, here's what I'm wearing now. I got these slippers for Maddie's wedding, which was so fun. And this white fox set, little pajama set. I'm drinking coffee. I have peppermint mocha in here today. Um, I know we're in a fall cup, but the peppermint mocha creamer just hits. It's so dang good. Okay, so I'm wearing this and I'm gonna change it to my workout outfit. Let's see what I can put on. Okay, here's the outfit I decided. It is from the brand Story. As I told you guys, I love their stuff. I think this is their new fall collection. And then if you use Janine, code Janine, at checkout, you'll get free shipping on purchase over $50. And I think they're doing a deal on like November 9th where you get a free pair of leggings with any purchase or something. So check the website, but I'm gonna use this today. Love this bra, has amazing support. I think it's so cute. All right, let's go work out. Okay, I finished that workout class ridiculously hard and I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm at Trader Joe's now getting some goodies. Okay, I'm back home. I jumped in the shower and I am gua sha right now because I felt like my face was just looking very puffy. So highly recommend. I got mine from Sephora. And yeah, I'm gonna just chill. I have a meeting in a little bit and I have some bills I need to take care of, some tax documents. I'm gonna just be working from home today in my office. And then I'm going on a walk with a friend later. But yeah, I highly recommend gua sha -ing. It feels also magical. Okay, so it is now 3.30. I got a lot of work done. I got a lot of stuff done on my checklist. So yay for that. And now I want to show you guys really quickly um, on my other camera. I'm going to switch to my other camera. Just some of my fall like staple wardrobe pieces because a lot of people have been asking me like we want to see more of the, the specific topics. So I want to try to incorporate these more into my vlogs. And these are pieces I'm using this month and using next month and just using for the winter time. So I'm going to try to have all these linked down below. And if not, they're going to be linked on my like to know it or alternatives and stuff like that so I'm gonna show you guys really quickly just some pieces that I'm loving and hopefully you guys will enjoy this and you guys will check these out yourself for this fall so let's do it okay I'm just gonna be holding up a couple I'm not gonna try them on and I'm gonna try to have everything linked down below and maybe insert like pictures inspo from like Pinterest and stuff so I'll have my editor do that for you guys and just show you guys some pieces I'm loving that I use almost every single year and that I recently bought as well first up I think the piece that you definitely need is a leather jacket mine's from Able. I just got this you guys can purchase it this is perfect you can style this so many different ways and I definitely think this is just the perfect little cover-up for like a date night. If you're wearing jeans, dresses, you can use these so many different ways. So definitely a leather jacket. The next thing is a trench coat, which I know we all know, but I got this one from Zara. I still have the tags on it because it hasn't been cold enough to use it quite yet here in Dallas, but I have this beautiful long black trench coat. Trench coats are so trendy and you can style these so many different ways. I've seen the cutest ways of styling these on like Pinterest and stuff. So definitely trench coat. I have a dark brown one, a light brown one, 
and a black one. Those are just some good colors to have always in your closet year round. And these are so timeless. Next, I would say a puffer coat. Doesn't matter what color, but definitely a puffer coat. So this one's from Princess Polly. I've used this for the last three years. I think they still sell this. I love this so freaking much. The color you can use with so many different things as well. So definitely a puffer coat, necessity. A plaid coat as well. This is also from Princess Polly. I've used this for the last three years. Still love it, still use it to this day. And it is just perfect to style this in so many different ways. And the brown and the plaid just screams fall. This is my favorite freaking uh, blazer I've ever owned. So I think they actually still sell this as well. Link down below. Obviously this is just a no brainer, but any like plain white, knit sweater you can style these so many different ways and so this one is from Vici dolls but it, this is from the brand um d d l e d e e e l l y so you can check on amazon for these but just having these in your closet is as well a good basic to have also what you're gonna want is like a nice little button up this isn't my absolute favorite this one's from zara but any white button up will be good underneath sweaters underneath a blazer you can style these so many different ways let pinterest show you but mine's from zara um, so definitely having a white button up is definitely a staple. Okay, I just added more stuff on the clothing rack because I realized there's more things. Okay, next is a leather skirt. You can use these with little tights. And I just think this is the cutest little piece to have because I personally love wearing a skirt with a nice chunky knit sweater and some like high top converse or booties. Um, this is from Aritzia. Next would be some like cute little crop cashmere sweaters. This is from Free People. I have two different types of sweaters like this, but any kind of like staple neutral brown one that you can wear with like a cute chunky knit scarf, um, leather pants, or even like some booties or whatever. Definitely a staple in my closet. I'm gonna be using this a lot. So if you see this on Instagram, Free People. Okay, two pairs of pants for sure are some straight leg pants. These these are from also Aritzia, but you can get a lot of these from Abercrombie. These are just great for wearing with booties, Converse, anything like that. So definitely just kind of a light wash, straight leg pant. Highly recommend these from Aritzia. Last but not least, hold on, leather pants. Now these are all the rage and we all know why, but I love the trend of leather pants. I think they're so classy, so stylish, so timeless. You can use these so many different ways. Mine are from Zara, the best ones I have found yet. I've tried Aritzia, I've tried Abercrombie, they ain't it, save your money. Go to Zara, size down and get these ones. These are like the 90s, um, I think the 90s like flare ones. They're so freaking cute and so soft and so comfy and definitely worth the money. So definitely recommend these. Okay, and last thing for clothing, which I forgot to show you, is just a cute little plaid skirt. I think there's so many ways you can style this with like a cute black turtleneck, some black over the knee boots, so many different ways. I got this from H&M like two years ago, but they sell different ones now. And again, I think there's, I think I linked another one on my like to know recently. So any cute little mini plaid skirt with like a pair of tights would be absolutely precious. So Love this from H&M. Okay, moving on to shoes really fast. I'm not gonna spend too much time on shoes because this is getting kind of long. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys some of my favorite pairs of booties or just fall shoes in general that I'm wearing a lot right now. Okay, these next ones are pretty obvious, but booties because we wear these with everything. They're comfy, they keep your feet warm. These are from Abercrombie. I got them last year and these are from Steve Madden from this year. Love these, reaching for these all the time and you can wear these with so many different outfits. But the next one I'm gonna show you guys are just some heel booties. I have these in beige, dark chest, up brown as well as black but just in general you want to have a nice classy stylish pair of booties that they can really dress up an outfit so if i'm going to dinner i'm going to wear these types so these are from sam edelman from like two years ago you can definitely see if they still sell these but you want like a nice little pair of heel booties as well so you can strut the town and still be stylish okay so those are some of my kind of fall wardrobe staples i know i can't include everything because there's obviously so many pieces you can use but in general, wait, there's one last piece. Hold on. I was gonna say the striped sweater. Last thing, this is so cute. Everyone's wearing it. It's all over Pinterest. I love mine. It's from Zara. Super comfy, super warm. You can style this so many different ways. Everyone's like draping it over themselves and stuff, but definitely the striped sweater this fall is so in and there's so many places that sell this. Definitely check Zara, H&M, all the things, but this is like probably my favorite piece out of all of it. <laughs> okay, like I said, I'll try to have links down below, have everything down below for you guys. Hope that was helpful. Um, we're gonna get back into the vlog. Not much is happening today, to be honest, so I might just continue this in tomorrow, but I hope this was helpful. Links down below, and if you guys are following my Instagram, I have these always on my Instagram ahead of time, shoes, sweaters, what I'm wearing. So definitely check out my Instagram, TikTok, and like to know it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and let's just get right back to the vlog. Also, if you're wondering, this sweater is from the bar. It's so cute, I love it. All right, hello everyone. So I went on a walk with a friend for like an hour. That was really sweet. Now I'm making dinner and I'm also making pumpkin bread, which I'm so excited about. I got this one from Trader Joe's and you guys can see. I just made it right here. I'm about to put it in the pan. It looks delicious. 
And then for dinner, I'm doing like, I'll show you guys really fast. So some quinoa, chicken, sweet potato and the air fryer and then also broccoli and I'm gonna watch a little movie soon and make it just really nice and healthy and then I'm about to put this in the pan and it looks delicious if you guys want to try it out it's this from Trader Joe's I'll let you guys know afterwards if it's good or not everyone so here's the pumpkin bread it looks kind of messy because I've been picking at it because it's so dang good um I'm gonna try an actual slice and I'll let you guys know what I think all right here it is it is steaming oh it looks so good all right let me get a little, a little bite I also added chocolate chips in here fun fact this is a big bite mm. 10 out of 10 so good you guys have to try it. I recommend. Good morning, everyone. Happy next day. So it is 7.50. I'm on my way to an 8 a.m. workout. Just had a short little Jesus time, just a little bit of prayer, a little bit of journaling and a little bit of uh, reading. So I did the 555 method, which I kind of invented myself, I think, but it's what I do if I'm like in a rush. Five minutes street reading, five minutes journaling, five minutes praying, if you can. Oh, shoot, as I hit a curb. <laughs> anyway, um, so I recommend doing that if you have a little bit more of a rush morning, but I like to usually spend a little bit more, but this morning I didn't have that. Anyway, I'm gonna go work out. Today is just more of like a chiller day again. Um, I plan on working at a coffee shop pretty much all afternoon, and then I'm getting coffee with my mentor at 10 a.m., so nothing too crazy, and then I'm going on a walk with a friend again, so nothing too crazy. And it's funny, the two girls that I went on a walk with this past week you guys know them from the hawaii vlog it's hannah and Brittany, so um sweet girls but usually i don't like to just put people in the vlog that aren't typically comfortable being in the vlog anyway I'm, I'm rambling but we're gonna go do um leg day today at vive wish me luck i'm pretty sore from the pilates class yesterday but uh this okay let's do it all right here we go the weather is crap today it's probably gonna rain I just want to let everyone know, I do ask people before I film them. Molly, is that right? I asked you before I filmed you? She did. She did. And Brock, Brock, you're just, you're just in this already. You're on Mac in it. <laughs> Hello everyone. So I didn't vlog for a while because I was literally sitting at a coffee shop from 10 a.m. to 5.30. It's 5.30 now and I just left and I'm heading home. Um, it is a rainy day in Dallas. Just look so gloomy out. Makes me want to take a nap. But I'm heading home, got so much work done, was very productive. I had two different meetings. I had one of my mentors meet me there and then a friend met me and then I'm gonna go home, pick up dinner and just probably chill and watch the new Selena Gomez documentary with one of my girlfriends. She's been wanting to watch it. So today's just gonna be a chill night. It's Friday, there's not much else going on. So I'm not like, do I continue this vlog? I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, bye, I gotta go to green light. All right, everyone, that is going to conclude today's vlog. I literally did nothing tonight. I just ate leftovers and watched the Selena Gomez documentary. Pretty sad documentary. I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts if you watched it. Um, it's pretty sad, honestly. Like, it made me feel bad for her, and she just seemed sad the whole time. And so, I, I don't know. I hope things look up for her, and I hope her health is... Um, I hope she heals fully because she just didn't seem like the same girl, which I understand her health has definitely played into that. And so just really like humanized her and just made me feel sad for her. But anyway, I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts on the documentary as well. 
I'm going to bed. Thank you guys for watching today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, links down below. This one's kind of random and all over the place, but anyway, love y'all. See you guys again next Monday for another vlog. Um, yeah, love you guys. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.